In this video, we're going to focus on the display option in the Chart.js plugin data labels. Personally, this option here, you will probably not use this. And if you do use it, then you should maybe ask yourself, why are you using the plugin for the data labels in the first place? Well, you might want to use it if you have, for example, two values or two data sets, where one data set you want to show the labels and the other one you don't want to. So let me show you here are a few things. So for example, here, maybe this one you want to show and the other one you don't, but we can do is the following. Because basically, if you would do it in here, where you have the options, you put in comma, and then we say here, display false, and refresh, you'll see now the data labels has been removed. However, why would you use data labels in the first place if you don't want to show them? Then I would say just remove the plugin in itself. However, Maybe you say, well, I need the data labels, but not in every specific, every data set. So in our, in our case, we have two data sets here. As you can see, we have this one and we have that one in this number of votes. Maybe this is number of uh, uh, buyers. I have no idea. So here we might say, well, we want to remove the data sets here. So what we can do here is we say data labels. Then within here, we say data, oh, not data labels here, but we'll say display false once we save this refresh you can see now we only have display of one data set that you want to show while the other is not this not appearing at all so this might be one of the reasons you will use it but it's probably most likely you won't use this option unless there is some special reason for that all right so that's the most important thing what i do want to do is i want to adjust the color here eventually and well, we can do that probably in the next video where I'll specifically focus on color. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.